Hey, what's going on? I'm Steve with McQueen Paint. Um, we're going to go through air compressors real quick. Uh, I'm going to show you the setup that I have. Um, kind of, you know, how I'm using it, what I started out with, uh, things like that. CFM. Um, CFM is cubic feet per minute. Uh, that's a rating on your air compressor that you're really going to want to look at. Because um, you're with your spray gun, you have a CFM rating and like let's just say for instance it's 12 so 12 cubic feet per minute is what it's going to use and then if your air compressor is like 8 CFM you know it's not going to be able to keep up with the spray gun your spray gun is going to be using more air than any air compressor can supply so it's not going to give you that constant flow so you're going to be spraying like a fender and a hood um, and then all of a sudden it's going to run out of air and then you have to sit there for five minutes until it fills up. Um, I've been through that. Um, it's not the greatest thing in the world, but hey, if you can, you know, if you can't afford a huge air compressor, you know, then that's what you have to deal with. Um, I sprayed quite a few motorcycle stuff with it. It works great for that because, you know, it's all small stuff. It doesn't really have to keep up with it as long as you got a bigger tank. So we'll go out right now and check them out. Okay, so this is the first air compressor I ever bought. Uh, I had it for about five years now. This is oilless. Um, this thing, after a while, it just seems like it's like a, a water hose. It'll just keep spraying. Any, any of these, they get put the air out so hot, and you're going to have a lot of condensation, so you're going to need a lot of uh, filters in the line and stuff like that to stop all the water and the oils and stuff like that. Um, this one's all right. It has a, let's see here, the CFM rating right here of 8.6 at 40 PSI. My spray gun's probably 12, and I sprayed it at 30. So this compressor, it wasn't keeping up. Um, I could only probably get a hood and two fenders with it before it ran out of air, and then you have to sit there and wait. Not a good compressor to use for a complete. I don't really recommend spraying complete unless you've done it before. You know, that way you can kind of get used to it, you know, doing panel by panel, you know, figuring out spray techniques and stuff like that. Um, I upgraded to the 60 gallon. This one sprays at 13 CFM at 40. So it keeps up with the gun, it keeps up with everything I got. Um, any of these compressors when you hook them up, this is a 220 volt and I put a filter in the line. It's not the best setup right now. You actually want to have this uh, piping going up, up and down on the walls and then into here to trap more of the moisture on the bottom. Got a little drain down here, but it's kind of a hokey setup, but you know, it works. I just have to replace this filter. You know, if I'm going to spray it complete every time it's, I think it's like, $30 for the filter, but um, There's different setups you can get really expensive if you want uh, the compressor I believe is Like around $500 it's well worth it. You're gonna use compressors for other stuff So you can't just think oh, I'm not gonna buy one because I'm just gonna spray this one car because you can use these for everything You know mechanic air tools and stuff like that. You can get all your jobs done quicker Um I blow out the whole garage with it so I don't even have to sweep. Um, they're just really good investments. You know, just don't think about it as, as you're buying one just to spray with. You know, you'll use it for everything. And I can't really imagine being without it. So anyway, that's what I got. Um, check reviews online. See what would be good for you. If you don't have any, barely any money, you know, I'd recommend just getting, you know, something at least in the 30 gallon range with a higher CFM rating on it. Um, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, but if you have the money and you can go get a bigger one that's, you know, 220 volts, this one's actually 110 down here. Uh, it's definitely worth it. Um, you know, go pick one up. Well, that's it. Uh, I hope this helped. If it didn't, sorry. All right, check you guys later.